What is going on guys, Miles here, back again with another video, and as you can see I'm level 55 and I'm ready to prestige in Black Ops 3 multiplayer. And you may be thinking like, I'm a little bit late, it's December the 3rd, and well as I make this video it's December the 3rd, and only just hitting level first prestige, but actually I reset my stats as you can see by this rubber here. And if you want to see that video I'll leave a link in the description of this video, but this video is all about prestiging and we're going to be checking out my stats and stuff and comparing them to last prestige, so I'm kind of getting second prestige right now but it's actually just first because I reset so my KD is 1.6 which is it's all right it's better than my previous KD but my win loss has fallen down to 2.2 and my score per minute is 385 which is about the same as last time 2300 kills and if we go in my combat record even more you can see my most used weapon is the CUDA and I have fell in love with this weapon since the reset it's absolutely awesome and really fun to use and easy to control which I really like about that gun and also been using a fair bit of the Razorback and the KM44 and the Vespa and a little bit of the other guns as you can see right here I'll just scroll through them quickly but I have been starting to use the MAA7 I've been loving that gun and it's pretty accurate, 32% accuracy and I haven't got many kills of it because I've sort of just unlocked it because unlocked it, you unlock it at level 55 and so you don't have much time to use it and so as for specialists I've been using the scythe quite a bit I've got all the camos for the scythe as you can see here I'm wearing the junkyard thing which looks really cool and I'm moving on to the purify now that's the specialist which I'm going to try and get all the armor for hopefully I'll get that soon enough but it is quite a late unlock so it's going to be quite hard to get all the camos for that and I've also been using a little bit of psychosis combat focus and vision pulse but I think I should try out like glitch and active camo and some of these other ones which I haven't tried once and as you can see here I've got like zero kills with half the specialists but as for score streaks I've got a lot of UAVs 162 used 489 assists and then followed by the hater which I've only called in five I haven't actually been using it very much because um, I've been trying out different kill streaks like the hardened sentry county UAV and stuff like that so I haven't been using the hater much mainly just been using UAV but moving on to equipment, not much to really see here. I have been using trophy systems, which I wasn't using last prestige. I actually find these really useful, and you get 25 score if um, your trophy system deflects a piece of equipment, which is pretty cool. They're actually really useful, and I've been using a little bit of the frag. I just throw them randomly, and every once in a while I get a couple of kills. As for game modes, I've been playing a lot of kill confirmed, as you can see here. By far my most played game type, and... I have quite a few free-for-all wins, but honestly, I haven't been playing it much towards the later levels because I've kind of been getting bored of it, wanted, wanting to be trying new game modes like KC, TDM. And as for the other game modes, I haven't played a lot of them, but maybe I'm going to give these a try by next prestige, and hopefully you'll see some more wins on these different game modes. Um, but yeah, that's all for my stats. How much game time have I got? 13 hours played. Um, some of that was in double XP, so that is quite low. And moving on to leaderboards though, as you can see here on 13 hours played, but if we go on leaderboards, it says I've got a day, a day, 8 hours played, which is a bit ridiculous because it didn't reset my stats when I reset, like, I mean, what am I on about? It didn't reset the stats on this leaderboard when I reset my account. So it says I have a day, 8 hours played here, but I only have 13 hours played here, which is a little bit weird. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or if they intended for that to happen. We're going to jump right into prestige mode. Finally, I get a cool title, as you can see right here. Start over at level 1, having gained a little bit of prestige. You'll keep all progress more, all progress made towards weapon levels, challenges, and customization, which is really cool, because hopefully I can keep my stats for like the Razorback and the M8 and stuff. And yeah, we're going to get our free unlock token, and we're finally prestige 1. And you may be wondering what I'm going to use with this unlock token and that is going to be the hmm I'm thinking the M8 or the Razorback and it's really hard because I like them both a lot but honestly because I've been using the CUDA a lot and you get that level one I'm going to be keeping the M8 because that's by far the best assault rifle in my opinion so we're just going to permanently unlock it there we go finally first prestige uh, it's been a while <laughs> I have to admit, but like I said, I have reset, so I'm kind of second prestige right now. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe for more Black Ops 3 videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video.